Hello. Oh gosh, why am I so foggy? What the heck is wrong? Am I foggy? I'm foggy. Why am I foggy? I'm still foggy. Why am I foggy? Am I, do I have a, um, good grief. What is happening? I don't have a filter on. Oh crap. What's that? Whoops. What's that? Oh gosh, what am I doing? Okay, it brightened me up, but why am I, am I foggy? Do I look foggy to you guys? I feel like I look foggy. Maybe it's my eyes. Oh, here, I've got my computer on. Let me see. Not my computer, but my iPad. Yeah, I'm foggy. Well, welcome to a foggy night with <laughs> Tammy Loves Vintage. Swipe left to reveal comments. Whoops, left. Okay, that didn't help me. Foggy. Hello, Penny. I'm Foggy. <laughs> Hi, May. Hello, welcome in. The bottom is really foggy. I don't know why, Penny. Um, must be a new thing. I don't know. We're going to go with it. We'll just call it a moody. We're having a moody video tonight. So... <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought maybe my screen was dirty, but I don't think so. Uh, okay, so I have another Chaka Tour. It's called Wooden Grain Shadow Box Refill is what I'm using. And if you happen to go to my website to Chaka Tour um, at TammyLovesVintage.com, I keep these because these are great to make things with as well. So keep a hold of that. Now, what I'm going to do, unfortunately, I have, I painted today. I think I told you guys I had a heck of a job today. And I am definitely going back tomorrow. I um, just got to say it was a heck of a day. <laughs> um, we're painting some, well, we aren't painting. The gal we're working for want, has this really old house, really, really, really old, beautiful house. And she doesn't live there. The kitchen's gutted. Like it is, I was kind of scared because I had to be there by myself. And I was kind of scared. She told me where, you know, how to get in. And I'm like, aren't you coming? <laughs> You're going to be here. She said, no. I'll have to show you the house. It is, a, it is creepy. It's creepy, if you ask me. It's beautiful. The windows are beautiful. I'm sure it was quite a mansion in its day, but right now, it's just creepy. <laughs> so, anyway, um, the painting that she wanted done, it wasn't, it wasn't ready for it. Um, the spiders in between the beams in my hair, I, the, when I would... First, I couldn't find any water, any working water. All the plumbing was ripped out. So I texted her because I was going to color wash. But it's the only way I could figure out how to, she wanted her beams pickled. So the only way I could figure out how to do that was like a color wash. So I don't think I'm going to, I don't like this stuff. I'm just going to Mod Podge this, you guys. I don't like that tacky spray. I don't trust it. We're just going to. We're just gonna settle in for a long winter's nap here. <laughs> Hang out with me. Um, anyway, so I start, you know, doing my thing with glaze and the beams were so thirsty and so dark. And she, you've been watching for me all day. Oh, bless your heart. Well, and I'm working again tomorrow and then Julie's coming tomorrow night. So it's gonna be a late one tomorrow too. I can tell you that. Um, I don't know if Sherry will be here or not. Um, so anyway, so what I'm doing is just putting Mod Podge, straight up Mod Podge on this board and I'm going to lay some ripped, uh, dictionary pages down. So, okay. So I'm painting away on these beams, trying, trying to avoid the spiders and cobwebs and flakes of old wood falling in my face. And, uh... I wasn't loving it and I tried less I tried more um, I text her I, I can't do this without water she's like oh there's water upstairs I'm like you mean I have to go upstairs but I did and it was fine 
She's known for having oh, some haunted houses. She always buys these old, old houses. And they're amazing and huge, but sometimes they're haunted. One of them, she won't even go in. It's actually a real estate office in Zanesville. She's like, I won't go in there at night. I'll go in during the day. She said she won't go in. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So crazy. Anyway... I just love her to death. She's the best person, honestly. But, so she gets me into more crap, though. <laughs> she always gives me creative um, freedom, but I always want to please her, of course. So I'm like, I'm sending her pictures, and she's like, lighter. And I'm like, okay, do you mean a lighter hand, or do you mean lighter color? Like, do you not like the color? So her beams are like really dark walnut, like super dark brown, dark, dark, dark brown. And she writes back and says, like this. And she sends me a picture and they look like pine, yellow, like unfinished wood pine, uh, not holes, you know, the whole bit. And I'm like, Carol, I cannot make walnut beams look like pine she's like you can do any like she was being very you can't you're mad you know you can do it mm. so i thought about it and i remembered that years ago i used to wood grain metal doors so you could take a metal six panel door and you painted it with this oil-based paint and then you use a graining tool and you make it look like wood grain. And they're beautiful. And I've done tons of doors for people over the years. And um, so I thought, okay, I'll go to Zanesville, which, okay, so I live in the middle between Zanesville and Cambridge. So I'm working in Cambridge, but the product that I need is only at one store I know of in Zanesville. So I told her, I said, well, I'm gonna have to leave. I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow. So I went to the store in Zanesville and I go, oh, we don't sell that anymore. <laughs> so I'm like, crap, now what do I do? Of course, they're like, we have no idea what to tell you to do. So then I decided to try oil-based primer as my base coat because they didn't have, they don't have oil-based paint. They didn't have what I needed anymore. So I thought, okay, I'll just make the primer be my base coat. Well, the color that I need takes four ounces of tint and the can will only allow two ounces of tint. So I couldn't use the oil base. So I'm taking a risk and I, none of you know what I'm talking about. I know, but I gotta talk about something. So <laughs> just let me hash it out with you and talk myself through it so that I'm feeling good about tomorrow's decision of what I'm decided to do. So I'm going to paint them with a primer and I'm gonna make that primer be my base coat. And then I got wiping stain in a, um, what did I get? Oh, it wasn't provincial. What did I pick? Natural, I wanna say natural walnut, which sounds really dark, but it wasn't. Anyway, it's called wiping stain. And so I bought that and I'm going to use my brush to make marks to make it look like wood. So we're gonna work on one. Jessica's gonna go with me tomorrow. She, she wasn't able to help me today, which turned out to be fine because it was a total, um, I, couldn't, I couldn't do anything today. So, I mean, I tried, but <laughs> I got a couple hours in trying to get it. Anyway, so I'm going back tomorrow. We're gonna start all over and it's kind of, for the better because the beams had a lot of bad places where it like it had peeled down to the raw wood or like I think what's happened is they hung brackets and things and when they took them down it just pulled you know and then one place there was a big metal patch with rivets and stuff and then all around it was all busted up light colored wood I'm making it sound terrible. It's just in, it's not ready for us, but we're going anyway, because she 
it's a big undertaking. It's too, it's not anything that would be a show place to show you guys. Yet it will be, trust me. She's amazing. <laughs> You're sleep deprived. No, I'm late. I know I'm late. Okay, so this side is a brown. I must have got the dual side. So here's what, so I just have a mix of paper. And uh, I don't have to do the back side with you guys tonight. Here, here, here it is. I'm not going to stay on and do the back side with you. I'll do it when we get off of here. Well, actually, I kind of need it to lay flat. Um, when I build it up with all my stuff, it's not going to want to lay too flat. So maybe I better just do it. So anyway, I'm hoping... Your brain isn't working. Have I totally messed you up already? And I just got started. <laughs> I know. That's kind of how my brain was today. Well, every idea I had, I thought, that's a good idea. And the paint store's like, well, we can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. So, and so now, and I'm thinking, I always have great luck with Zinzer 123 primer. I use it for everything. Well, he's like, I'm not sure you can put that over the on those beams and I thought those beams it's a primer that's why you use it if you're not sure if it's oil or latex you prime it I'm sure it's oil but it's old oil I mean it was flaking off like mad so I think it's going to be fine the guy at the paint store he was a he's an old painter very not he's not old but he's he's like I've been a painter his whole life, but he's oil. You know, if you know anything about old painters, they are oil lovers. And so he didn't think this was going to work. And I can also tell you another thing where I'm like, I'm going to trust myself. Um, so, so I had a table at the little house and somehow it was a new table. You know, I got my new table. Hadn't even got to um, here with this. No, this is just Mod Podge. So, and the glaze on the beams, I did add a color. Yes, just a beigey color because it was so, um, it was so dark. So I didn't want to go white. Okay, this is right side up. So anyway... Somehow or another, the kids got acetone on my new table top. And it ate through the stain. So, I think I've told you guys this. So, Sean, bless his sweetheart, has been so upset and so worried about this table. And he's been working on it, trying to get it, you know. He got it stripped. He got it um, gel stained. And it was very, very dark. And then the thing of it is there was um, wood graining in the top of the table and it had kind of like a wash that showed off the graining. So I told him, I said, let me take it home. Let me take it from here. You're too stressed out about it. I'll do it. So I take it home. Julie and I figure out this paste from Pentart. We used a paint, Pentart paste and rubbed it over the table and then washed it back. <laughs> And I had an oil-based satin clear coat and it fish-eyed on me terribly. And I, the thing dried for days, so I know it wasn't wet. I don't know. What, it had to have been the reaction with the paste. Maybe that the paste was latex over the oil. I don't know, but we washed it off extra good. Anyway, anyway, anyway. We, so... I go into the paint store and I'm like, now what can I do? What, what, is there anything I can do short of stripping it? And they're like, no, I think you got to strip it. Well, I took note that when I painted the second coat thinking it might fix it, which it did not, of clear coat, that the um, fish eye went away when it was wet. So I'm like, what if I up the shine to a semi-gloss? No, that's not going to work. It worked. I went ahead and bought a quart. I said, what am I, what am I going to lose? You know, it's worth a try. It worked. 
So I couldn't wait to tell him that today when I went in there. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> so that was a lucky miracle. So you know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to follow. So the moral of this whole story is you got to follow your gut because maybe you'll be right. And I did that several days ago and it still looks fine. So thank goodness. I think the table is ready to go back to the little house. I'm happy about that. All right, there's one little spot that I missed, so we're just gonna stick that in there like that. And then let me dry this down. So, all right. Uh, the private group uh, is $15 a month. Um, are you adding a glaze into your top coat color? And yes, I did. Um, bull, Zinsser Bullseye was my favorite. I know, I know, Marilyn, but it, they're saying it. they don't think I'm, well, the one guy doesn't think I'm going to have much luck. I thought I saw another question about my group. I guess that was it. Um, anyway, so it, you can find it at TammyLovesVintage.com. All the information is there at the, um, at the top. Let's see. So... Anyway, and so many of you have joined. I see how my tooth looks like I'm toothless. My dentist won't fix that because it, it's smooth. I don't, I even pulled up one of my videos. I'm like, look, I look like I'm toothless. And he's like, I am not fixing that. You're, there's nothing wrong. I'm like, yes, there is. So I always try. <laughs> so funny when you look at yourself, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> I do look toothless. <laughs> I look gappy. I'm gappy. <laughs> I know, Dee Dee. Hi. I'm so happy too. I'm so happy. Actually, I said I bought a quart. I didn't. I bought one of those little, like a little pint. It was seven bucks. I thought, you know what? For seven bucks, I'm going to try it. And it worked. So now I'm hoping I get the same blessing with the beams tomorrow. Ooh. Kind of dreadful. No air conditioning. Hotter than Hades in there. It was doable warm. It wasn't miserable like outside, but it was hot. But it was also nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I have energy. Hey, yeah, I guess. It's more nerves. I get nervous when I do these. Painting chainsaw sculptures for over 20 years. You can learn a lot about me. Okay, Sharon. Can I use a latex primer over stain. I know you can't put latex over primer, but I thought <laughs> now you can't. I can't unsee it. I know. Like, can you put a cap on it or something to level that out? No, you did at the Westin. Is that where it's at, Dee Dee? Is it at the Westin? Because I'm not staying there. Wherever it is, I messaged Kathy and said, how far Randy gets um, priority points and he could get me um, my room for free. Well, I mean, you have to pay a little pay, pay parking and there's fees, but kind of free. So Kathy's like, it's right down the street. Do it. Save your money. So um, I'm not staying at the venue. You never noticed. Well, good. Yes, Marilyn. Does he need to see a close-up? <laughs> see? I, just, I never notice it anywhere but on a live. I hate it. They're still doing... Oh, Brenda. An, an hour. Usually in there an hour. And it hits me. Yeah. Oh, That makes you feel sick. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I bet you do love it. Well, because he gets priority points. Oh, thank you. It's from TJ Maxx. Hi, Callie. It's just from TJ Maxx. I thought Millie would like it, and she does. She's always poking at my, <laughs> my butterfly. All right, let's wait for this. Okay. I'm anxious to see what John says about my tooth. I really like my dentist. My bottom teeth have been crooked all my life, and... Every dentist along the way has always said, we have to put braces on the whole, on everything. And I didn't want to do braces as an adult when I could afford to do, do them. I didn't want to do it, so I didn't. And this guy, you know, I mentioned it. 
And he's looking around in there and he's like, you have plenty of room to do braces on the bottom. So he did braces just on the bottom several years ago. Well, that's true. But you know, just like, <laughs> it's extra noticeable tonight. You loved your old dentist. <laughs> Was that John? <laughs> okay, that's the back. Now we're ready to roll. <laughs> You're funny. Was John your old dentist? I think you still love your old dentist. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to get out my paint. I pre-made a mold with form flex. And I know you guys asked me about my last mold that I, frame that I made. Uh, I wish you would do a meet and greet for people that would just like to meet you in Cleveland. Oh, Sue. That's so sweet. Well, I can. I've been watching you for years. <laughs> Lori, well, damn it. Why'd I point it out? <laughs> I should have shut my mouth. Now you're all going to be like, mm, yeah. Look at that. He won't do anything. But I like him, so I trust him since he did that. But I wouldn't mind him taking care of this other little problem. <laughs> Uh, every time I every time I do a video, I look up and I see that. It drives me crazy. So, okay, I'm painting. So, I started to tell you. <laughs> gosh, why do I have so much to talk about tonight? I don't even know. <laughs> um, I started to tell you, you were asking about that really, well, this is really ornate too, but the oval frame that I used the other night on something. I don't remember what the project was. What the heck was it? Probably a bottle. I'm going to say it was a bottle. Hmm. I don't remember for sure. But lots of you were asking, and I told you if I could find it, I would. I can't find it. It could be um, one of Julie's that I borrowed. We trade each other our molds and stuff. We try to buy molds that the other one doesn't have. And then we share them and trade my friend Julie. So, um, anyway... It's probably was one of hers, so I'll check and see if I can't, if she can't tell me where she got it. Um, Tammy Yaw at Formflex Compound, here are the last couple of orders we have both placed. She sent us a free frame, some kind of a frame, and, and she doesn't know us. She just thinks we're nobody, um, I promise. And it's not special treatment or anything. We're just regular people you know so I don't think she knows I do this anyway um so I think that just must be that was it a bottle okay so um anyway she Julie reached out to her on one of those frames and said where did you get it where did you find that frame and she told her so Julie bought the mold but I don't know. I don't remember where. That's all I remember about that. And I'm not even sure it's the same one. Me too. In fact, let's see. You have a chip tooth right in front. Well, they can fix that. That doesn't need, they don't even have to hurt you to do that. Go to the business, had it be $500, had it fixed. I'm so happy when my husband stops and gets, where'd that go? Stops and gets a sub on the way home. <laughs> Brenda, good grief, you're having all kinds of trouble, Brenda. <laughs> the crackle bow, okay, yeah, all oh, the blue one, okay, okay. What happened to Abby, what do you mean? She's just, she's got sick, um, she picked up a virus on the airplane coming home. So she's got the crummies. She's feeling really crummy. And she called and told them she wasn't well, and they said, just bring a mask. They still made her come to model feeling sick. I'm like, how sick are you? And she said, pretty sick. And I'm like, what, are you fevered? And she didn't answer me back, so I don't know. She's probably like, I don't wanna hear it, mom. I don't even wanna talk about it. So I don't know how, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, she sh sent me a picture of her little positive thing. So, you know, shame on them. Hi, Ma Mona, you found me. I got, I saw it pop up that you couldn't find me. 94 people. Gosh, I just told 94 people. <laughs> oh, 
that stuff, you guys. Why do you watch me? Oh, I have been going live since the end of June, right? All of June. Yeah, the end of June every single day. And they say, go live every day. You'll gain followers. <laughs> I've lost like seven if you guys are tracking. <laughs> I've been in events. <laughs> I'm trying to do pretty things. <laughs> They're dropping like flies. <laughs> I think it was so funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Facebook hates me. It just hates me. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, I know. Why would they risk? So she brought, she brought, um, thank you. <laughs> she brought, uh, I don't know why you say that. She brought, Masks for everybody, she said. And they went for it. <laughs> well, everyone paying for a beautiful model, you know. So, all right, you all know what I'm doing here. I, t I took our Country Chic, my favorite chalk paint, only because it's what I sold at the store. And the only chalk paint, a higher-end chalk mineral paint, um, like Country Chic, like, DIY, you know, Deb's Design Diary, um, uh, Dixie Bell, um, you can name them. You can throw them out there. Um, chalk paint, they're all great coverage. They're all great products. I bought it because I thought the little labels were pretty. <laughs> That's why I started carrying that one. Well, of course, I wanted DIY, but that um, Kelly Weiler had that. She's got a shop um, here locally. And we were the only two, I think, at the time, anyway. So, oh my gosh, I got the chatty tonight. I, and I haven't said a word to Randy, but I don't think, all night. Here I am, blah, 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 blah. All right, I got to grab a paper towel to wipe these back a little bit. Okay, so... So, okay, I started to say, be, no, I haven't had any wine. <laughs> I got water. I don't know why I'm so chatty. Um, I'm all fired up about my job tomorrow. I think I'm a nervous wreck. Numbers are like a roller. They tell you that you got more followers and you look at your, I know everybody's like, I started following you. I started following all these people. I love following you. I'm new to your page. I'm following you. But yet, my numbers keep dropping. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm using my Country Chic chalk-based paint in one of my two favorite colors. This one's called Cheesecake. The other one's called Vanilla Frosting. Want Vanilla Frosting is a little bit whiter than the cheesecake. Okay, so I'm using that, and I need to unwax this now, because I'm gonna run into the trouble I ran into the other day, and it's not gonna wanna stick. I better keep that. So this is dry enough to keep on, oh, you wanna see what we're doing in the group? It's laying here. It's laying here waiting. So, I dressed her last night. She is a little porcelain doll. She just had, like, her, the body. And I made her sleeves, her shirt, her lace, her skirt. I made her slip. I made her little pantaloons. <laughs> oh, it took... It took a while. And then we changed out the hat. I still haven't figured out, for those of you in the group, I still haven't figured out exactly where I want the black bow. And I still, obviously, I haven't mounted her down yet. But there's her little, I added the little blue flowers to match. And then that's going to go like that. And then part one was me working on this frame. I think I at least talked about it last night. I don't know if I showed you. But... The, this is the frame she's going to go on. Like, 
that with her hat. I think with her hat. I kind of want her hat. But anyway, that's how she's going to be. And she fits it perfectly. She's just sliding down. <laughs> so that was a fun, really different. Never done anything like that. So that was kind of fun. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know. I was like, I was struggling a little bit. I can tell you the truth. I was struggling here. These two sides, I struggled and I hate sewing. So I tried to not sew anything, but so we, <laughs> we covered it up with Rick Rack and I think it looks fine. So anyway. Uh, okay. So back to my board. Okay, and then I want to add my gold around the edge. Let's do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to smear it. I'm putting it on heavy because I want it. I don't just want it on this edge. Sometimes I just want it on the edge. Other times I want it over and I think this time I want it over so see I'm putting it on a little bit heavy and wrapping it around and then I need to wipe it off because daggone I can't get this stuff off of my table if I don't wipe it off and there's a little hunk of it <laughs> I can't get it off my table okay and then I do want it on here so this is the gold leaf it's my favorite Rub and buff, gold leaf, favorite. Okay, I'm gonna take this again and wipe it off. Okay, then I'm gonna do it here. I should, I'll show you on the top. Ooh, I went over big. It's okay, I love it. I really do, I'm not just saying that. I really do like it. Okay, all right. All right, so here it is going over the edge see here there and then at the top is nothing so see the difference it just adds a little bit of something now you could do dark wax you could do what could you do ink i always like the gold i just think the gold just riches it up and i don't know if you guys caught it but the other day julie let me borrow her silver leaf for a project and I ended up and didn't use it, but I it was laying here on the table and I thought, boy, I wish I had silver. And I thought, wait a minute, I do. And I used Julie's silver leaf. I really liked that too for such, for certain things, you know. Okay, so I did that on that. Now I need to do that on these two frames. But wait, we're not done. We're gonna do it here. Let's see, oh, this is gonna be tricky. worth it. Let's see here. Aren't you curious what I'm making? <laughs> I haven't really told you really. A little bit I guess. Gosh. It's pretty. Okay, so I put little bits of gold. Okay. Alright, so there's that. Better I didn't put it on the back. I don't I think that's fine. Okay, then I'm gonna try and hit these raised things. So let me get up here and see. Oh, thank you. Let's see here. Here we go. Okay, where are you? You gosh, you guys are up high. Okay. Can you see it? I'm not sure you can see. Okay, I need to get another dip. Oh, so pretty. Going at it, got it raised on my finger. I tell you, sometimes I go flat, but I want it. I want it on there. I'm gonna go hit this little line here. I want to hit that. I think I want to hit the outside, not the outside sides, but just this outside edge right there. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Now. I think I'm gonna have to put this paper towel. I'm gonna wipe that off just to make sure because I'm gonna be handling it and I'll have gold all over everything. So let's go switch to a baby wipe. 
now. Let's see about cleaning myself up a little bit, cleaning up this act. Valerie, thank you. Uh, when you do, it's just like this, Stephanie, only it's a little bit more personal. I suppose I've been going live so much here. I'm usually it's a little bit more, um, we um, kind of involve you guys a little bit more. And I try and do things that I've never done before over there. And yeah, it's just a, it's just kind of like a group of friends and everybody seems to recognize each other. And it's just a safe place to go, I guess. It, oh, I really haven't had a lot of trouble with creepy people here lately, here, but it used to be, man. It was just getting ridiculous. So, oh, uh, make sure my writing's not upside down. Nope, I'm not upside down. And there's where I put my patch, so that's going on the back. Nope, I'm good, thank you. You just got notified, Betty. Gee whiz. I've been chatting for a long time. Thanks, Daryl. Thanks, Stephanie. No. Why are you nervous? Oh, for Pete's sake. I gave you my number. Call me. Girl. <laughs> Everybody calls me. It's fine. You can call me. I gave you my number. I want you to call me. Nothing to fear. Heck no. Just call me when you have time to chat because <laughs> you can ask the girls sometimes we chat. So, if you're okay with that. All right. I've been watching for you. And actually, I watched, I did, I checked the, um, uh, what the heck? Yes, it is Formflex. Oh, yeah, nothing to fear. Um, I checked the website, or the email, to see if you maybe were able to figure it out, since I didn't hear from you. Okay, so if you remember a few projects ago, I was going to use this little girl on this postcard, and then I, in the middle of it all, changed my mind and used a different one. So I want to use this one tonight. So, boy, I'd like my spray. I don't like that spray. I'm not using it. Um, and I kind of laid this out. So I kind of want that just right in the middle. Okay. Oh, I need to glue the card, not the board. Okay. So I'm dipping into my Mod Podge. I don't know why I'm so foggy on the bottom. That's so weird. So, so weird. So you guys, I should go live tomorrow from that house and just do it quick. You would, not, you would not believe it. You would not believe it. But it's cool. But it's okay. Oh, Gail. <laughs> I'm your idol. <laughs> you're... <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> you're funny. I'm not an idol for Pete's sake. No, it's not, Dee Dee. I wiped it off before I got started. Here's my lens. There you go. Now my comp. Oh, it was my <laughs> wiped it off. You guys saw me. Watch the replay and see if I didn't wipe it off. I did. I swear I did. Isn't that funny? It was my. It was my <laughs> my my dirty phone. I know the bottom was foggy. We couldn't figure it out, and I was wiping it. I didn't wipe that hard. Where the heck? I, I I'm okay. You. <laughs> You catch the replay. The first 30 seconds, I'm wiping that thing. That's so much better. Now you can really see my teeth. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Maybe I needed to go back. <laughs> All right, let's see. I need this kind of glue. <laughs> it's much better. <laughs> you guys are all laughing. Okay, so I need to glue this down and to glue your frames down. Let's see. I need you to see the project, <laughs> not, my, not me. Okay, Gail, call me. When I get done here, if you're still here, call me. I'll be up. Or you can call me tomorrow. 
And listen, I'm working tomorrow, so if I don't answer, I'm just up. Uh, I'm just up on an eight foot ladder. I'm not super high up, but I'll have gloves on. Uh, well, no, I won't. I did today for color washing. I don't need gloves for the primer coat. I'll probably wear them for the stain so that I'm not all black through my fingernails and stuff for the next week and a half. Um. So yeah, if I don't answer you, then I'll have your number and I can call you back um, whenever. So just call me. And just to give you a heads up when you call, I have a screening service. So it'll say, um, you know, who's calling or whatever, why you're calling. I can't remember what it says now. I don't know, Sandra. I I say if you prime it, you can, but that's always, for me, anything, if you can prime it, I mean, I paint, I've painted marble, I've painted tile, I've painted all kinds of things that people say you can't paint, but yeah, you can. You just have to prime it. So, okay, that is down. I don't see much oozing out, maybe a little bit right there. I think that's it. Okay. So there's her. Probably could have picked an easier, uh, quicker uh, project for so late. Okay, there is no top or bottom. So let's get back into this glue. Whoa. Okay, then I thought I would put this one like up off to the side and leave me a nice little area for some flowers. You've talked to me. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Dee Dee. It's been a long time, huh? Um, you need to get a. Maybe you can fill in. <laughs> Jan. <laughs> I know you weren't. You should. You have to go back. Funny. Oh, you guys are so funny. Okay. All right. So, yeah, those of you that are going to the sparkle event, you'll see. My tooth is fine <laughs> in person and in a mirror, but for some reason on the on the on this phone, it is bad. <laughs> and if it's not fine, don't tell me. I think it is. So don't tell me because that's just one more thing to be ugh about, right? Okay, so we've got that down. Then I found this cute little, hi, Teresa. Uh, the Lord is my strength and song. And it is Psalms 118, 14. I thought it was beautiful and it matches her. So, I need now to figure out how to make this go, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's It's got to go down and down and down, go down and up and down. And I think it is a little too large, too. So, we're going to have to trim her up a little bit. So, let's get to whittling her down here, see what happens. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's be a little bit crookedish. Let's see here. Okay, side to side, that's looking pretty good. I need to trim a little bit off the bottom. Oh, I can't really tell how much. Let's just shave a little bit off. And then we're gonna take a peekaboo at it. A little bit more. Okay. 
Okay, now I need to shave. I feel like I got a little hunk over here. A little hunk of hunk of burning love. Here we go. Now I'm gonna shave this side so I'm not so off center. Okay, now let's see how we are. Now, what I think I need to do I'm, I, my spray bottle's over there, so I'm just getting a little bit of water from my cup. Rule of funny thing, a friend called me from eight years ago, my ex-boyfriend area. She was checking on me surviving the hurricane. <laughs> I was so shocked because no one calls me from my past. Needless, I was so nervous to talk to her. <laughs> I wish you never knew anything about <laughs> Yes, it's like a stamp. Yeah, that's probably what happened. When I went on, and it was so foggy, I was like, do I get off? What do I do? And I, that's probably what threw me into overdrive, was the, what do I do about this fogginess? And I was trying to wipe. I thought for sure when I wiped the phone, it would go away. And I think that's probably what <laughs> cranked me up. Don't take much. <laughs> get me cranked up. Okay. I'll tell you something else about the sparkle room, too. So, okay, you know how I'm like all... Oh, 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 right. But I am actually like, I can't even believe I said I would go by myself and get a hotel and to try and find my room and then try and find this convention thing and walk in by myself. And, um, like, who do I set with? Where do I go? What do I... I don't know anybody, like, except for, like, you guys here, names, but I don't know what any of you look like. Yes, I mean the retreat. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I know that's silly. Don't tell everybody else. Just between us girls. See, this is what it's like in the group right here. Okay, well, that'd be great. I think I'll recognize you. I've seen you enough <laughs> on our private pages because we're friends as a Julie doesn't want to go. She's not in, no. She's not, she doesn't want to go, really. And she'll still be boating, probably. They'll, they'll probably be wrapping it up the end of October. And they go out, like, for the week. They stay all weekend, so no. She's not into it. I know, Linda. I'm like, I'm like, sure, I would love, it was such an honor to be asked. And then, once I thought about it, <laughs> And especially when I'm not even staying in the same hotel, that just upped the stress a little bit more. Like, why can't I just stay where they're staying? I mean, he's like, because I can get you the room for nothing. That's not, why would you do that? So then that's when I asked Kathy, do you think it's okay? And she's like, sure, you'll be fine. I would. <laughs> okay. So I did it. Now I'm thinking, then we have to wear, a, we have to dress up for a costume ball. I'm like, way not that. Oh. So I'm picturing myself walking down the street. <laughs> by myself in a costume <laughs> and, and is it far that I have to get an uber and how what about all of my stuff like I have I don't know how these people fly here and bring stuff for a hundred people to craft with like it takes up my whole wall it's the bags I have a hundred bags they're like this deep I have them in rows of 10 clear across my wall like the whole back of my car is going to be full of bags I can't carry them I have to put them in boxes. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, I know you guys. This is where my brain is right now. In the clip, I'm like, it's October. That's so far away. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> it's catching up to me now. Yeah, but you know what I mean. You walk in and you just. So just know if you go and you see me standing there like a dummy. I would sure love it if you would come over and say hi. Just pretend we're friends, right? <laughs> pretend you know me. Oh. The only problem with that is you won't be able to shake me because I am, um, <laughs> I'm going to hang on to you for dear life. So <laughs> if you do, <laughs> and you're like, oh, I don't really want to hang out with her after all. <laughs> Too bad. Tough tooties because <laughs> you're going to be my friend the whole time. <laughs> And that's the truth. 
That is the truth. You won't be able to shake me. <laughs> I know. It's ex and here, and then, and then you think about this. So here, are both of my daughters both leave town, don't know anybody, move away. Abby travels all over the world. She don't have a scared bone in her body. My mom and my grandma were way worse than me. Okay, I put, oh, I put tight bond quick and thick on that, didn't I? Should still work, right? Does that work for paper? Oh, God. I'll be fine. I hope so. I know. Oh, I hope so. I'll probably be the only one there that nobody wants to <laughs> with their dog do. That's why I'm coming live so much so people can know me. You flew when you were young. Oh, Rula, that is so brave. I have a story about that. You guys want to hear it? I have a story about that. So when I was young, I was in fourth grade. My mom and my dad uh, got a divorce. And I hope tight bond quick and thick is going to work for paper. I might have just screwed this up. Yay. Yes, we will be. Um, anyway, I hope I didn't just screw this up by putting on tight bond. Did I? Anybody know? Do I need to get this off of here and wipe it off? Oh, that's true, Leanne. But I don't know if any of the girls that follow the sparkly girls stop in Marysville, Sandy. Well, that's, so I grew up in Marysville. You know that, I probably, I've told that before. But we moved to California. You had to be a resident there to get a divorce. And for six months or something. So we lived out there for six months when I was young. And then, hey, there's Jimmy Swift. Hey, Jimmy girl. Uh, anyway, I should be fine with the glue. Okay, thank you, Susie. I'm just trying to get it to stick down. It's not wanting to, but I know it's really thick paper. So what was my story? Oh, oh yeah. So we get out there and my mom wasn't married to my dad at that time either. She was married uh, to my little brother's dad. And anyway, my dad ha had visitation. I always got to see him. So he insisted that mom fly me home for a visit. And so my mom had to put me on a plane. It is not sticking. Maybe because I got it wet. I'm going to go in here with tacky glue. Um, had to fly me home in fourth grade <laughs> by myself. I flew on an airplane. And my mom, back then you walked out to the airplane. And so she's there and she says, you do not get off this plane until you see your dad at the bottom of those steps. Because you used to, if you guys remember, it used to be they'd roll over steps and then you'd go down the steps out into the, like, the airplane parking lot. And so, anyway, we're flying, flying. Everything's fine. It was in the middle of the night. It was dark out. First time I ever flew. And the nicest stewardess. Anyway, we come upon a storm, a terrible storm. And the storm was so bad, the pilot landed the plane. And, of course, the stewardess wanted to get off and go take her break or whatever. And I went, get off the plane. My mom said, don't get off the plane until I see my dad. So there's all these people around me trying to talk me off this plane. I'm crying because I'm not allowed to get off the plane. Oh. <laughs> I finally did. She stayed with me like she promised and everything was fine. And we got back on the plane after the storm and my dad was there to get me and all that. Everything was fine. But yeah, <laughs> so that's my first plane ride. I don't know if this was a good idea. I thought it would kind of look like a brooch or something, but that raised around there. I don't know. I might have to play with that a little bit. No point in you guys. I know. So that's probably where all my braveness went. Just scared it right out of me and it never came back. Because I don't remember being afraid until mom was like, don't you get off that plane until you see your dad. Okay. So, all right, you guys, we're almost done.
Oh, here's a little basket I made for her to carry, for my little girl to carry. Cute. She put it in her hand like, you know, someone said gone with the wind and then somebody else said little Bo Peep. Like, yeah, they're both, they're both true. So, okay, now what I want to do, I have this. Oh, I put this too far in. I don't think I'm going to use this after all. forgot. This was on my paper plate. This is another paper plate project. And I thought I would pull the um, black from the words and the black from her little dress and do this because it's so cute. It's actually like elastic, but it's got that teeny ruffle and I was going to put it inside, but I guess I could put it outside. But then I cover up all my gold. I don't want to put it underneath because it's so pretty. Hmm. Your granddaughter flew. Let me see. I know it was traumatic. Granddaughter flew from your. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that first time. Oh gosh, that's so brave. But at least they had each other. Didn't like a tea bag. <laughs> oh yes, that's true. That's very true. Oh, ignore that bot thing. I don't know why that comes up. I say that every time. All right, so what do you think? Do it, lose the gold, do it anyway. So there, this side is without. There it is without. It definitely adds something. Hmm. All right, let me, let me, let's get our flowers on here first. That's not going to make or break nothing. So I pulled black flowers. I was really, really going black. I almost feel like I need to add some black to this frame. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, that's where, oh yeah, I've got more. Oh gosh. Yeah. I thought I had more greenery. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Martha. You like it with it? Okay. So again, I'm gonna use this little sprig. I love this stuff. So I'm gonna use this little sprig. Let me find my, I'm done with this dryer. Let me find my color. Okay, I was thinking that. And then I have one, Maybe two. Let me cut this just a snap shorter so it's not, you know, completely the same. Let's see, I guess I need it to go on top. Like that. And then maybe that. I don't think I need all that. Okay, and then I have the black flowers. You like it? Yay. Yay, yay, yay. I'm move the sander out of the way. It's my cutters. Let's cut free some black ones. There's five. That ought to do something. So... Just adding them in, however, kind of however, we'll see. I don't know exactly. I don't know. I don't want them like that, but maybe. And then I have this little piece that I snipped off of an old hat. Okay, these were all wired onto an old hat, but the yellow matches the yellow. So I was thinking... If that changes, that's too much. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure once I get there and all the highs are good and I'm good, then I'll be good. But, oh, I just, it's the walking in part. My husband, he drags me to places all the time, you know, and the older I get, the more I'm like, oh, I don't know. Okay. And we off we go. 
because he's like a social butterfly. He likes people and I'm not that I don't like people, but he just is good at making, he's a salesman. <laughs> so he's good at making conversation. And Julie, she's, she's probably a lot like me as far as being uncomfortable. And she's always like, you're such a good talker. You know what to say. It's because when I get nervous, I'm da, 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 da. Oh, that'd be miserable for him. He would hate it. He doesn't have a crafty bone in his body. He is not driving three hours. He drives for a living. He, and he hates every minute of it. I could. He would never do that with me in a million years. Never. Oh, maybe if I asked him nicely and, oh gosh, I'd, I'd owe him for the rest of my life if he did. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> Bless his heart. So it's going to be, well, not this one, but something like that. That's what I'm thinking. I'm driving. Yeah, it's only three hours for me. That's the way your heavy is. So, Sandy, let's talk about this. So, he wants to be polite and get the door for me, which means I have to walk in first. Restaurants, wherever we go, I have to go in first because he holds the door for me, which is super sweet. But I'm like, I'll hold the door for you. You go and let me, like, <laughs> let me sneak in behind him. Such a thing. And then, once we get there, because I'm like, I always have to give him the little talk. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. <laughs> please don't leave me. Please, please come just check in with me every once in a while. Like, please. Because I honestly, like back in the day when we would go places, I would tell him, I could have left. I could have left and you wouldn't even know that I left. Like he's just, he's with his friends, you know, and he never checks on me or whatever. He's just busy socializing, right? And I am too, but it's just nice, you know, to come by and give you a little squeeze or whatever, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't like to go in first. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I am so weird. See how weird I am? It's so weird. You get it, Sandra? Or Sandy? I'm glad. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not the only one. We did at that class reunion. I gave him the little talk. Please don't leave me. <laughs> please, please don't leave me. <laughs> he was with me maybe more than normal, but um, but he went to school there too. He was a year behind me. Um, uh, no, she holds her own. She, no, I don't think she's like me either. I think. My grandma was the worst. She loved being by herself. Grandpa was su super butterfly. The hey, hey, what do you say, guy, grandpa? He was Mr. Happy, Mr. Wonderful, social butterfly guy. And grandma was like me, only worse. So my mom is like me, only better than grandma was. And then comes me, and I'm like all proudy proud because I'm so much braver than they were. But I'm still a chicken shit, <laughs> really. <laughs> and then Abby, you met Abby. She's like, <laughs> and nothing's stopping her, man. <laughs> and I love that. I love that. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's it. This is so sweet. I knew it would be. I really wanted to see it. This has been one of those paper plate projects that I really have wanted to do. Because I just thought it was going to be amazing. I don't know if it's amazing, but it's sweet. I like it. I think that black did a lot for it. That black frame and these black. But I feel like I need to just rub a little black in there and my black, pa my black paint's out over on my cabinet mm. 
And yeah, well, she'll be busy. Like, you know, I'll be one of those begging for a job. Well, take me something to do. I'll do any help. Let me help. Let me help. She'll be busy and surrounded by people, you know. excited to meet her though. Oh yeah. Uh, RF, her name is Reese. I love that name. I told her she needs to change her Facebook name to Reese. I think that's so cute. Two daughters, Summer and Abby. Okay. And then these little things, these are, I think these are at Hobby Lobby, but they're pretty great for what I'm doing here and just adding a little bit of texture. I'll show it to you without... And then I'll hold one up here. So like, see what I mean? It just adds a little bit of green. Because I could have mossed, but I don't want to moss everything I make. But um, yeah, these are great. Just maybe a couple of them. Maybe one right here, and then that's all. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to do things in twos, I suppose. Yeah. If I have a job, I'll be fine because then I can be busy. Mona, what did you say? Please read my comment. Please read my comment. Okay, I read it. <laughs> uh, Mona, where is her comment? Oh, no. Really, Rola? Great. I mean, <laughs> that's not great, but... Walked in the store one time and I just stood outside the door until he realized I was outside. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> oh, no. Other people just don't admit their fears. Oh, yeah, you're right. That reminds me of my friend Cindy Lewis. She, We would wallpaper together. She pretty much taught me all the little sewing things I mention in here all the time. Uh, and some of the things I do comes back to Cindy Lewis. She was the most brave, smart, so smart, such a great friend. She moved away, um, moved to North Carolina to be with her grandkids. And uh, she was super involved in her church. Like she, we were, she was like, the best friend. And anyway, uh, we were wallpapering and I kept messing up. I'm going to do this. I think it needs it. Uh, I kept messing up, you know, why, how's come you, you never mess up. You never mess up. And, um, why do I always mess up? You know, so finally one day I'm whining cause I messed something up and I had to take the sheet off and redo it. And I'm whining around cause she's always Miss Perfect. And why can't I, why do I always mess up? And finally she said, I mess up all the time. I just don't say anything. I just don't say it. I just don't tell people. I just fix it and go on. <laughs> Like, oh, because <laughs> I'm over here. Oh, crap. <laughs> Telling the whole world what I did. <laughs> I thought that's a good lesson to learn, right? So that kind of goes with what you were saying, um, I think, Mona. Oh, gosh, come on and stick. There you go. I was going to see if I could just turn the corner because this is so... It's like elastic, so it's bendable. Okay, here we go. We're gonna make a big run. I'm only gonna go halfway because that hot glue just doesn't stay hot. Okay, we're finishing it out. It's gonna look great, but I think I need some black on these frames. Around the bend. Oh, look, that's all folded down. Yeah, it's fine. It's just wrinkled down. Okay, here we go. If I go all the way, it's not going to make it. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, and around the bend we go. 
last line and then I got to figure out a little bit of black you know what I want to do oh my earlier comment about putting something childish on the board somewhere because she's a child wait what about putting something childish on the board somewhere because she's a child what I guess I didn't go back far enough No, no. I saw other people don't admit their fear. I kind of stay out of the socializing thing when I talk to someone. I get nervous and talk about, see, about stupid stuff. I know. And then the whole time, all the way home, you're like, why did I say that? Why did I say that? Shut up. Shut up. The whole time I'm talking, I'm saying shut up. But I keep talking, just like right now. <laughs> no. Nobody's like me. <laughs> Phoebe used to have sweats in the church. <laughs> I get it. Used to have panic attacks in crowds. One, is this Mona? No, this is Rula. One elementary school I had to stand up and talk about aww, my thing and you cried because the teacher was trying to make aww, <laughs> that's precious. Your husband walks on with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, Mona, I can't find a comment. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, put a little something childish on the board because she's a child. Oh, you're talking about this board. I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't have anything childish. Like, like what? Like a bow? I don't know what I... I don't have anything childish. I did get a little teddy bear from that lady in that box yesterday from um, Joyce uh, Alasser. Joyce Alasser sent me all kinds of stuff from her craft room. And I didn't know where to file the teddy bear. Where did I put him? I put him right there. I see him. All right. But he's not going to match. He's not going to work in here. It's too fancy. Mm -hmm. I know. You like my glasses? Thanks, Brenda. They are... From Amazon, I can give you the link. Here's the little teddy bear. It doesn't really work. Let me see. It's gray. He needs. I'm not sure I can get in there with this. I'll just leave the middles gray. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But there, I fixed him. He would cover up her bucket. Like, is that what you mean? <laughs> is that what you mean? I don't know. It's the only thing kiddish I could think of. I don't know. I think it's kind of fancy for that. But you know what I'd like to do is use this Sharpie marker and just pull some black. wonder if that, would that be bad? No. <laughs> okay. I know. Just like a little bit. If I get the black paint, I'm going to get too much. Let's see what happens. It may not. It may not. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I bet you ain't seen anyone do this before. <laughs> right? Doesn't work. Let's see. I don't want to lose all the gold. I just feel like it needs a little bit of black to pop it, but not like a lot. My black paint's right over there. I should just go get it and do this with my finger, but it's kind of working. It's really, it's too subtle for you guys to see, so it's not working. But it is working. Like, look right here. There's black. Do you see it? It's not enough, though, is it? Oh, but I'm afraid. Of course, 
Do they make black rub and buff? That's what I need. Do you think they make black rub and buff, you guys? That's what I need. I bet they do. They probably do. I know they make rose gold and silver and all. Okay, so I'm going in to buy black. I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, God. I'm going to get rid of more. Uh, it's a standard sewing machine company. Oh, yeah, that's what I needed to do. I'm trying to be very light-handed here. Just a little teeny bit, not much, a little bit here and there. Black wax, yeah, I've got that. Good, yay, Dee Dee, thank you. Okay, so, yippee, I wish I could get that little bit of black more on the outside edge of this. <gasps> uh oh, it went a little heavy. Take a moment to breathe, it says. Where were you earlier? It was all shook up. Okay. I think that's great. So then just set this up on an easel in your decor. Adorable. I love the little millinery flowers mixed in with the paper flowers. So, so sweet. And this stuck down pretty good. It's lifted a little bit there, I guess. I'll check it again tomorrow. That was a lot to request of that little. It was a pretty thick piece of cardboard, but that, see, it's bowed up. It's raised up. This is just flat on the board. Maybe do some of your sewing notions. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Alrighty. Uh oh, my black's chipping off my thing. It's all good. Okay, no teddy bear. So I'm gonna put him back up here. Um, but he's cute just sitting there looking at me. Uh, what'd you say, black buttons? Okay. Oh, I got those two flecks of black. Okay, there we go. Now they're gone. Okay. A rabbit's foot or a lucky charm that has special powers. Yes! <laughs> yes. That's what I need. these little tiny black buttons in this bag. Um, they're super great, but they're not glass or anything. They're kind of dull. Ooh. Ooh. I like that, Dee Dee. Great idea. Dee Dee's the one that named our, um, our fly on the wall that we do in our group. Our hooks or snaps or something to do with sewing. got that too. Oh, because of the sewing machine. Dang. Crazy. They don't make buttons like they used to. All right. I got, I, I kept the big dog here just for these uh, occasions. There we go. Of course, the thing went flying. Nothing in a button. Oh, but there's a bucket there. I hate to cover up her little bucket. Can't just put one. I like it, but you can't even see it. 
thought you had some strips of things on a card. I do. I'll go. I'll go look. Let me go look. Hooks or snaps? Me and heaven will lie with you at night. Aw, man. Cozy. We're more cozy. Okay. So those are all too big. Those are all too big. to be black. Well, there's snaps, but they're not black. Hmm, that's too big. This is sweet though. So if I knew that, I could just... Oh, hey, what if I did this card and put a button here? the top or across the bottom. Put a button here and a button here. It's a little more unexpected than across the bottom. Oh, here, worky here. I sprayed this card. It was white, 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 and I sprayed it. So you can see where the buttons were. I'll have to glue those down. You can kind of tell where I sprayed it. Get the button into the... There, like that. See, you can see. I don't care for that. Fix the card, but not the, there. So we can get them to lay that way. This one, that doesn't bother me. So, but I don't like this big thing. The safety pins. The safety pins are upside down, these. It's too much, and I don't want to go that way because the words would be wrong. These are just buttons, so they're going to lay however. And that's how I spray it. That's how they were on the card when I sprayed it. They're buttons. What do you think of that though? I kind of, that's interesting. It's an interesting placement. Yeah, I'm looking in the thing. Okay. And then what if, I mean, I could, nope, I don't want to do anything down there. And then what if I take like one big black button? That's a pretty one. I need to add a little bit of gold to it. That's beautiful. Put a little gold leaf on that puppy. Shiny runner, all right. Up. Okay, I'm digging. Um, oh, here's a black and gold one. I'll leave that out, but I kind of like the black and gold, black and silver. Black and silver, black and silver. Black and gold. I don't know, that looks like a bicycle wheel. 
Oh, I just got these. Oh, these are too nice. These are five bucks. That's the only thing these cards and things get. Okay. You think the extra button is too much? Okay. Even just one up here in the corner. Get rid of this one and use this pretty one with the little bow. I think the sewing machine notions is appropriate. If you can read the writing, yeah. Okay. So, if I put that up here, what do you think of that? Just one? I was thinking maybe a row of three black buttons. But maybe you're right, just the one. Or just like that. The ones? No, they're just kind of in the middle of nowhere for no reason. Okay, tell me what to do. Cause this is all you guys is this is you guys now i don't have nothing to do with this if we go clear up here to the corner no do you see what's not on here is a bow oh you need one okay i'll i'll um i'll link it for you if i can find it on Amazon, and if not, I'll take a picture of it and put it. Uh, I got it at Lowe's. Uh, it doesn't get the whole thing. See, there's still a little bit, but it cuts it as close as you can. Oh, use a piece from the dress. Okay, that's a good idea. Like under the button. Uh, I like the larger button on the top. Put a small section of safety pins on the bottom. I don't have it. Bow in the corner, three buttons. You like the three buttons better than the one? Let me get a piece of this little dress. I cut the crap out of this dress. You can't even tell it's a dress anymore. So like pleat a little thing. I don't know how to... I don't know, it's taken away from the frame. I like the idea. I love the idea. Three buttons on a chunk of the dress. How about something like that? I'm seeing hearts on that one. Okay, let me get rid of this. That's just a card of buttons. Three little buttons. Too much with the material, just the big button on top. Hmm. Oh, come on, I can't. You love that? Who said it's too much? Dee Dee? Where's Marilyn? What do you think, Marilyn? I like the little... It's really gotta be tight. I could back it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be quite that long. Kind of like the idea of the fabric with the sewing and a button. That's kind of a cool concept. Uh, you like it? Okay, Marilyn likes it. Okay, now let me... Okay, not to rule her out, but let me just look at one more thing. Because she was wanting snaps. These are from Linda Glenham. Um, she's one of my online... Friends, and she sent me this little bag of sewing 
notions. you go all the way I mean I hate to use them all <laughs> it's not really black here's a hook that's cool too many so I got square large round small round you guys probably can't see hang on a minute a couple of snippets of material with the lace trim on it Black button with the bow. <laughs> Upper right corner. Okay, hang on. <laughs> this is where it gets hard because you guys are like, oh, she liked my idea better than hers. The top, use a piece of a strip of a dress as its buttons instead of a card. At the top. Yeah, I don't, I don't, this needs something, maybe just a piece of lace. Uh. piece of lace. This might be too white. It's too white. Uh, oh, this might be good right here. This one here might be nicer. Oh, I like that. See, I don't like this up here so much. I don't know why I like it better down here. All right, we got a direction. This happened the other night. I had my paper plate, and you guys, you guys had me going all, all over the place. Now here we go again. Okay, I love it. Don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit like, oh, who do I listen to? <laughs> so many ideas. Okay, so I make it really small for those that don't like the idea. I'm just not loving it in that corner. Oops, I put my lace down. Maybe just cut a piece of this. And... That really matches that antique spray. I like that, but I don't know that I like the... So these are snaps. So now we've got buttons and snaps and a hook, a little piece of fabric, and then a big fancy button. Let's see. I love that button. Okay, there's that. You like it up there? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I I can deal with that. What do you think? Do you guys all deal with it? You like it in the corner? Okay, everybody likes it at the top. Marilyn loves it. All right, Marilyn. This was your idea with the fabric and Dee Dee's idea with the snaps. So we're going to make everybody happy. Okay, and we're going to put this in here. To hold it all down. Okay. Okay, now. This corner and this corner. And that's it. Okay, that corner on the frame, that corner down there. Okay, there's that little do do dad doodly do. And then we'll do the snaps. Everybody still okay? <laughs> uh, tacky glue. Okay, we're gonna go with tacky glue.
smoosh it around. It'll dry clear, so it may not look great right here, right this second, but it'll be fine. But I might have to dry it down because my snaps won't stick to that wet. Oh, I might have to dry that glue a little bit. I think I will. Yay! <laughs> this is a group effort. It's nice to have the idea with the paper plates. I can tell you that. It sure helps. And then it's nice to have you guys... Um, Okay, it's still very wet. I need it to dry it a little bit more. You can see it wet. I can see it wet. Uh, okay, that ought to be done. Oh, I'll leave these out so I remember. Look how cute this card is. I love that. That'll be pretty on something someday. Now you guys will be saying, remember that card you showed us? I go, uh, what card? No. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is going to be a finger burner. Okay, we got a hook. And we have all these little teeny tiny snaps. Oh my gosh. Because this is an old sewing machine advertisement. I love that these are all different. I hope Linda sees this. Linda's somebody else's live that she's watching, I betcha, because she's um, always a good follower. I was going to say a good doobie. Uh, okay, I need... Where, what happened to that bag? Oh, it's right here. Anyway, you remember seeing your sewing notions on the cardboard cards? Oh, yeah. Oops, that snap's too big. See, I put Linda's name in here so I wouldn't forget it. Who gave them to me? She's in the group, and I was saying I needed some stuff like that. And she said she'd send me some, and she did. feel like I'm going to get that marker out. This little hook is black, but it's not as black as it could be. Everything down. Okay. What do we need? I know, I'm getting low on paper plates. I have nine bottles left, eight eight or nine bottles left up there to do. I didn't count the other projects. I still have quite a few up there, but yeah, I'm yeah, I'm getting down there. But that's not gonna be a problem. I feel like I'm... Is it? Oh, thank you. You think I'm good? Yeah, I guess I'm good. When I, I'm looking at my... I have my iPad's right here beside of us. Here. It's right, right here. <laughs> I do have an empty, but I wouldn't know what. I wouldn't know what. Uh, let me just try one thing. This is just a black, let me just cut it off here. It's just a black lace little flower. Oh, green ticket. We need green there. A bow. A word that goes to black. Okay. Uh, uh, it's 
small spool of thread. Yeah, I don't have any. Oh, that would be so cute though, a small spool of thread. Mm. Okay, you guys got all these ideas and I can't think. Let's see. A small spool of thread, I like that, but I don't think. Yeah, all my spools. I got this one. <laughs> How about that? weird is that too weird the little tiny what the little tiny on a tiny thing the little tiny ones on a tiny thing green something green that's the wrong shade of green got berries safety pins black on the card you keep talking about safety pins these are hooks on a blue card these are safety pins these are my only safety pins and they are too big and I don't want to rip I don't want to rip that up these pins are on a red card now wait 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 I have this little rotted this little one that I it was an awesome card and I crushed it in my cart in coming home from Springfield. It got destroyed. What about a hunk of this? It's green and black and it snaps and it says hook and eye. I don't like it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> it sounded perfect. I could probably get it in down there just to get it in. Thank you, Clara. Hi. Yeah, I don't have any green thread. That, I don't mind that down there. It says hook and eye. It's backwards, but it says hook and eye. I like that. But that didn't solve my problem here. Dang it. What else are you telling me? A bobbin. Hmm. A bobbin? Hmm. A bobbin. Hmm. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I mean, these are all my new sewing things. But I don't have a bobbin. They're probably over in my sewing... These are my new... Okay, hang on. <laughs> You guys are so funny. Let me, I probably have to pull out my whole sewing machine to get to my little bobbin drawer and it's down in a thing. And I, the only bobbins I have are either plastic or screaming silver. Oh, Debbie, I could probably do that. That could be really a cute idea. Um, what about a bigger needle? for showmanship. That's too big. <laughs> or, or what about one of these? Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have a mess. I'm never going to get to bed tonight. What about a pin with, and I'll just bear with me, maybe three. <gasps> And I'm in my bare feet. I won't find it. Don't worry. Step on it. Dang. Hang on. You guys. I don't, I don't step on it. I really need your... Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay. Uh, 
I was thinking three of these with a black seam binding bow. I tripped. I got it. How about a needle package? Oh! Where are those? I have those. A postage stamp. Where are my needle keep? I just have this one needle heap. I guess I only have one. What's that word? I guess I only have one needle keep. And this one was my grandma's and it doesn't match. It's red and gold. Yeah. It was my, my mom just gave it to me the other day. She says, here's something else at grandma's. These are safety pins. Okay, so let me just, let's just stick with this. Let's just stick with this. And if we don't like it, I'll rig up a needle and thread and figure it out. But this gave me this idea, and I think this is gonna be swell. Oh, green. Oh, because of that green. Oh, wow. Okay. Not sure I have the right shade of green. Yeah, I do. Can I just want the green. I want the black. How about one of each? You have a whole, you have a whole different vantage point than I do. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, I don't like this. No. Okay, it's an idea doesn't have to match. What does it look like on, what does it look like on what? What? Oh, this? No. I could never say I did that. No. There's not one thing red on here. I am sorry, Rula. It's a sickness. I am a very matchy-matchy. A piece of a zipper. Mm-hmm. Could be really, really cute too. Oh, I'm trying to tie it too little. I do have a gold and black zipper, but I don't know exactly where. Okay, Marilyn, here comes the green for you. I was thinking three black pins. Maybe this is why my followers keep dropping off. <laughs> she, she, she can't do anything by herself. Like something like that. You can't tell that I have to hold it. Like that. I could deal that. I could deal with that because the black pins pull the black and the green. I'm doing it. Perfect. Perfect as is. Oh, leave it alone. What about the tiny snip of that old measuring tape? Oh, Jimmy, that's a cute idea too. All right, let's put that in there. You guys, this is such teamwork. How fun. Okay, this is the last tweakage. Let's see here. Any significance for nine or ten? And it's kind of yellowy. This one's kind of matchy. Give hearts. Woo! -hoo! Stick it in the bow. Oh, it's too thick and oh, that bow. Look how that landed. That's cute. Hey, look, that gives me something to stick these in. That's better than trying to glue them down. 
because that was my next issue. How the heck am I going to glue these things down? Jimmy, save the day. Bringing up the rear. I don't know if this is how we would want them to be, but we'll just see what it does. Now I don't like the bow. <laughs> what do you think? Duct tape. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> How about my garden hose? <laughs> Okay, hey, that's going down. I like the yellow and the yellow and the yellow and the yellow. Perfect. And then since I made the bow, we're just or up here. No. I'm just gonna put it on there because I like it. I like the green. Good call, Marilyn, on the green. Okay. Alright, that's it. Oh wait, I have to glue this down. What a little cute project. I love doing these. I love doing bottles too, but I love making these little assemblage things. So cute. That's pretty cool. Wow. So see, this is a standard sewing machine company. We've got buttons. We've got snaps. We've got ribbon. We've got a tape measure. We've got pins, seam binding, fabric. And hook and eyes. Yay! I mean, a hook and eyes. Wow, how cute. And old millinery, the yellow are old flowers. And the black are paper. Yay! Wow. Teamwork, teamwork. Rah, rah, rah. <sighs> that was a big one. Alrighty, folks. It's 11 15 I gotta get to bed yay it's so sweet I love it thank you for all of your help you guys I appreciate it it was fun hanging out with you anyone want to stay a little while and help me clean up that'd be great don't just run away <laughs> I'll see you later <laughs> oh Daryl okay you guys have a great night I'll see you later bye-bye now you have to put all of this I know I know I keep thinking about those bobbins, but I know I don't have a black bobbin. They're they're clear or they're silver. Besides that, they're already all wound up. Linda made me a whole bunch of them. She wound them up for me so that I didn't have to try to figure it out because I'm a terrible sewer. <laughs> okay. It would have been cool if you did if you did it all yourself. What do you mean? It would have been cool if I did it. It would have been cool even if you did it all. Oh, you got your vacuum? Get to work, rule it. Well, Randy's in bed. You better save that for morning. Turned out great. Yay. Okay, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>